My name is Ellen Jaspers. I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at the Neurocontrol of Movement Lab of the ETH Zurich, and I'm presenting this paper on behalf of myself and my colleague Katrijn Klingers, who's a postdoctoral researcher at the Research Group for Neuromotor Rehabilitation of the KI Leuven. Our paper in the July 2016 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology is about the occurrence and severity of mirror movements in children with unilateral CP and how these mirror movements relate to upper limb function and brain lesion type. In this cohort study, we included 78 children with unilateral CP with an age range from 5 to 15 years and an average age of 9 years and 4 months. Max scores range from 1 to 3. Mirror movements were scored using the Woods and Tuber criteria during three unimanual repetitive tasks, and we additionally assessed muscle tone and muscle strength, as well as unimanual capacity and bimanual performance. Now, the brain lesions of the children were classified based on their MRI into either malformations, periventricular lesions, cortical subcortical lesions, or postnatally acquired lesions. Results showed that, in general, about one third of the children presented with mirror movements in both hands. Another third of the children presented with mirror movements in only one hand, mostly the non poetic one, and the remaining third of the children did not present with mirror movements in either hand. We further observed significantly more mirror movements in the non poetic versus the poetic hand, and in contrast to typically developing children, the occurrence of mirror movements in either hand only showed low associations with age. A higher occurrence of mirror movements in the non poetic hand was significantly correlated with a lower muscle strength and a poor unimanual capacity and bimanual performance. Mirror movements in the pyretic hand were seen more frequently in children with early brain lesions compared to children with cortico-subcortical or postnatally acquired lesions. What's new in our article is that this is the largest study that systematically assessed mirror movements in a cohort of children with unilateral CP based on a representative sample covering a whole range of upper limb functional abilities and brain lesion types. With this paper, we clearly demonstrated the complex multifactorial interaction between hand function, mirror movements, and brain lesion type, and for the first time demonstrated that mirror movements in the pyretic and non pyretic hand are mediated by different mechanisms. In further studies, we will focus on unraveling the relationship between the occurrence of mirror movements, brain lesion type, as well as the type of reorganization, and how these factors impact on treatment response.